this is going to be fun. And yes, I will do my best to keep the exposure of the stupid to the minimal, people. How Andrew can sit there for multiple hours and deal with this much idiocy and still come out sane is actually astonishing to me. But anyway, uh, he was on the Whatever podcast a while ago speaking about voting. As you can imagine, the XXs did not do well. The same no, question repetitively. Because, because so I have already shown a flaw question. in your logic. There's no flaw that, in the logic well, I'll there. Explain the, I'll explain the flaw again. The flaw is, if your argument is people who pay taxes should be able to vote, we've already established there's multiple people who don't pay taxes, so why ought they be able to vote? Your answer is, duh. That's not my answer. Then what's your answer? I said that Americans are supposed to be able to vote. They're supposed to have representation. There are tax Based on law, women. right? Are there women that pay We're taxes? We're talking about an ought. We're talking about an ought, not an Are there an women is. that pay taxes? Yes, of course. So they should, you're saying they should not be able my to vote? My argument is not that taxpayers should be able to vote. That's your argument. Okay. I'm saying women should be able to vote. I know, and I'm asking you why. Andrew's face when he says why <laughs> kills me every time. Let's keep watching, though. I'm saying women have a right to vote because we're American citizens. Mm -hmm. We're taxpayers. That is true. Why we're property ought, owners. We have a stake <laughs> in the interests of the country. Should only property we should be have representation. Okay, so should only property vote or property owners be able to vote? Um. Everyone Depends. should be able to vote. Uh, what so if we say that? It's a human again, right to be able to vote. Then uh, why cannot yeah, women uh, vote? Uh, Stop arguing with her and just tell us why you don't think women vote. No, I'm going to finish my argument over here. So anyway, okay. we have to mm. distinguish an ought from an is. You and keep you on saying it is true. And you still are refusing to say, you're the one yes, who initially came out it. and said, mm -hmm. you think women should not yes, be allowed to vote. And you still haven't even made a sound argument. Because because you gave me your reasoning first. So I'm just going through your line no, we, of reasoning. We spoke about one thing. Mm -hmm. I have many reasons why I believe this, and you're honing now, in on I one thing. Now, I will give you my reasoning, and we can see if there's any flaw in my argumentation. Men are the enforcers of rights, and because they're the enforcers of rights, they deserve to have all the privileges that comes with enforcement. Women are not the enforcement of rights, including for other women. Only men can enforce the rights of women. Therefore, only men should be able to have the stake and the claim to vote, period. Perfectly rational argument. Men take all the risk and responsibility. Therefore, they deserve all the rewards that come with the fruits of their labor. So far, so good. How can only men enforce the rights? Ah, of well, I'm glad that you asked. The fact that she even asks that is mind-blowing to me. That is a really weird freaking mouse. I just noticed that. Man, my brain hurts just looking at it, actually. You have rights, right? Yes, I do. Okay, what is a right? A, a right is something that basically we've defined out through uh, a bill of rights or a constitution. Something the government that, can't. A, something the government a, can't do to yeah, you. It's an entitlement right. absent a duty. Right. Is that a right? Well, what do you mean by absent a duty? And that question right there is the symbolic walking into a guillotine and pulling the rope. Headless flailing and it just goes off the rails. Now, to save you all a headache, I'm going to skip till the end and you will see why. <laughs> So you don't Where are rights spirit? absent your brain? Why can't Where women vote? <laughs> Why can't Where women vote? Where is your right to vote <laughs> absent no, your no. mind? Where is your argument Stop asking me a question mind? and answer one. Where is your argument absent I'll your mind? I'll tell you mind? what, I'll answer any fucking question you want after you answer this one. Where is Where? your argument outside Where? of your subconscious? My, outside okay, of your all of my arguments are based in the epistemological. The epistemology <laughs> and the ontology that I have comes directly from God and divine command. Really? This answers, yes, and yours too. And I said, and my, all I, said I believe my rights are God given. That's so great. Why are you, why and are that's what we're talking right? about. Now, I just answered your question. Now, answer mine. Where is this right to vote absent your brain? Where's your argument? Yeah, I just, <laughs> just, just won't answer can it, no matter what. Wait, can you answer his question, though? Just, no, she just can't. She knows. She already knows. My, it's a my fail. Where's your right to brain? vote absent your brain? I've been saying this whole time. My rights are God-given. Your right to vote comes from so, God? Yes, it does. Uh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> my right, Wait, hold my on. right does come from God. Andrew's got to go. My right to have a vote. Hold on, hold on. My right to vote comes from God. That's right. Your right to vote comes from God. That's right. Your right to vote Your substantial rights are what you should focus on. Yeah, go have a smoke. Right, now, at the start of the clip, she was dumbstruck, stumbling over what is a right. Did refute Andrew's definition, and this clip is just shy of 16 and a half minutes long, right? I pause at around 8.30. The girl in the black hair said, why can't women vote? That's all I want to know, which means for seven minutes, it was nothing but flailing bullshittery. Mind you, there's eight bloody women on that panel, and not one of them could answer Andrew's question, which was simply, why should women have the right to vote?
Feel free to watch the original, by the way. I'll link it down below. It veers off into God, the spirit, Lockean nonsense, monarchical sovereignty, consciousness, and AI. I wish I wasn't kidding, by the way. And the answer is simply, there is no rational reason why women should have the right to vote. Even the go-to, oh, I have a stake in the well-being of society, that holds no water whatsoever. If I don't live in the United States, but I earn dollars, I too have a stake in the well-being of the US economy. Does that mean I should be allowed to vote as well then, do I? And what is your metric for well-being? And does your vote even influence it? Does the person you're voting for have that same metric, do they? Do we ever ask any of these questions? No. When I work at a company, I also have a stake in the company doing well. Does that mean me and my fellow co-workers get to act as quasi-hirers and pick the CEO, do we? No, because that's utterly idiotic. But when it comes to running a nation, oh, that's totally fine because it's fair. Good lord, I hate democracy so much, it's not even funny. Does anyone remember this moment from like six months ago? What would you, so what do you want to vote for? What do you want the vote for, exactly? What do, what do you think Why women do you want to vote? That I certainly want voting rights. Why? Because I have an opinion and I'm a human being. And there it is. I have an opinion and I'm a human being. That right there is the apex example of why giving women the right to vote has been an unmitigated disaster. That attitude right there. Because in the minds of women, it is always about themselves. I swear they are wired to be selfish and not the Randian virtuous sense either. I mean, this argument goes back to the Roman Empire question from a few weeks ago, and women couldn't make sense of that one either. Because for men, voting, or well, supposedly anyway, is a civilizational duty. You make decisions about affairs that affect society. For men, it boils down to results because men, first and foremost, care about function. Women care about themselves, how it makes them feel and how they will be perceived by others. Men build society through their hands and their heads. That is their duty. Women build societies through their birth canals. That is their duty because they're the only ones that can do that. They need to do that or else the human species dies. And the only people, the only people who degrade that, who give women grief for wanting to do that is other women. No man has ever said, what, you wish to have children and be a mother? How dare you wish to continue the species, you lazy ass basic bitch, you? Well, except maybe some psychotic industrialist, maybe, who knows? But my lord, it does not take a brain to spot this pattern, though it does take a pair of balls to just state this, apparently. Every arena in the modern day, wherever you find an influx of women, you find a substantial degrade in quality, cost, and production across the board. When women enter any space, they always make it about themselves. Every space must be made safe in the name of equality. And considering men are superior to women, this means the space must be purged of all the male influence until this appeases the spirit of the inner Shiva that resides in the ovarian mammal. And yes, that is rather poetical. It's not ideology, it's basic biology. It is the disastrous consequences of giving women power, thank you Aristophanes. The power in this case being freedom. There is a reason why women's sovereignty has been restricted in every civilization across multiple continents. My good god, if only there was some kind of common variable involved here. Hell, you see this in government even. Left or right, doesn't matter. At some point, they always talk about women's issues, and those issues always revolve around reproduction, which is code for, oh, please protect my capacity to wield a get-out-of-jail-free card as I engage in hedonistic sexual degeneracy. Oh, but of course, for the reductionist, self-centered whammon, opposition to all of this is met with the cliché reflects a flail of, oh, it's just because you hate women, which again only serves to add weight to the male consensus for why women shouldn't vote, because they don't understand reality. Again, men are wired for function. Because we don't enact policy directly, they look at which forces keep putting these idiots in power who are hell-bent on chaotic destruction, they see those voting demographic maps and notice it is overwhelmingly women. They know reality doesn't phase them, women do not make their decisions based on logic and so using logic to appeal to them is not a rational play. And so the recourse, once all the options that involve listening have been exhausted, is force, which explains why their sovereignty has always been restricted. Ladies, it is not that men hate you, it's that they like everything else around you and take issue with the propensity of your feeble sex to set everything on fire. Cheers for watching and once again, I apologize for nothing.